green tea is 99% of the time almost always in the form of tea bags or loose leaves how did I arrive to the figure? I made it up <laughs> my tea bag brew of green tea by nature's cup or it's organic green tea and I'm showing you guys how to prevent or to avoid that little string or cut that is hanging by the string from the tea bag to actually fall into the cup when you're pouring your hot water and obviously the easiest way to do it is <laughs> the easiest way to do it is to pour in your hot water first lah before you put in your tea bag Aren't you gonna slap me? So feel like slapping me now. That's pretty obvious, right? So yeah, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's me again, S Y Cookies, S Y. It's super real time this time around. Uh, matcha is almost always, definitely ninety nine point nine percent of the time in the form of powder, commonly out there. And how did I arrive with the figure? You guess it right again. I made it up. But you get my point lah, right? So the major difference is that one is in powder form and the other one is in loose leaf form. And secondly, why is the character as such where the color that is developing? That's from the way it's being harvested. Right somewhere that green tea is being exposed to sunlight, like most of the time, like ah, strong sunlight to grow, to thrive. And uh, for matcha, they are in the shade so it preserves the chlorophyll and that's why it has like a it boosts like a higher chlorophyll and a higher so-called nutritional value because it's no longer a secret that green tea is very it's very high in antioxidant so it says here that matcha is a couple of times higher than green tea and as you predicted logically if they are in a whole powder form then you are actually consuming the tea leaves so obviously you'll be getting more antioxidants more chlorophyll more whatever benefit it is than what's from from the tea bag or from the loose leaf where you are just dipping it and you're not actually consuming the tea leaves so for matcha when they harvest they actually grind it into powder form they make it into powder form so you're actually ingesting the powder instead of just drinking i mean you are drinking lah but you're also like ingesting it i'll tell you why because you cannot dissolve you cannot dissolve matcha powder in water yeah so you can stir it and mix it well but you cannot dissolve it so at the end of the day you are still consuming the powder which is why yeah it comes back to why it's claimed to be uh, highly it's higher in nutrition and antioxidant so that could be the reason why and uh, I also want to talk about how we should because I just said like you cannot um, dissolve you cannot dissolve uh, a matcha powder in, in hot water right in hot or cold water you, you, you cannot dissolve it you can mix it mix them through and the only way to do it is with a stirrer an electric stirrer you can stir it like, manually it takes a long time and you'll see the lumpy lumpy uh, things the matcha powder lumpy lumpy matcha powder inside the water um, doesn't matter if it is hot water or cold water or warm water it's always lumpy so if you use an electronic whisk called electronic whisk it's called a Frother, yeah. If you use a frother, then it would work. If you if you put it in a blender and blend with your juice and whatnot, yes, it would work. And the more specific way to actually brew your matcha is with a bamboo whisk. This is the one. So, for experts, I mean, we are not experts, so we don't have like bamboo whisks of many, 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 many variation. Myself, I only have like a couple, but that's also for photography purposes. Some, some bamboo has a lighter color and some has a darker color. The way you use this 
is not to just stir like this but you don't go around like clockwise or anti-clockwise instead you do it in a zigzag form so you you zigzag up and you zigzag down like this <laughs> it's such a fool so this is how you do it like when you do it quickly almost like a zigzag so in a bowl this is how you do it yeah not like this so this one is um made out of bamboo and this would really work like taking your matcha so i've been um, enjoying sipping hot warm matcha sometimes as a coffee replacement and um, on some days i would even enjoy them with ice and that's a very fantastic way to save you some money because if you go to starbucks or if you go to the cafe and if you order things like matcha latte or ice matcha, it's super not worth it. It's super not worth it. So, because each glass or each cup easily comes up to like a minimum of 10 ringgit. And uh, if you do it at home, it's so much cheaper. Like way cheaper. <laughs> it's like so much cheaper, yeah. So on top of the drinks, there's also a lot of things that you can do with matcha powder. Uh, you have the common matcha cookie and but um, talking about like simple snacks that is non-baking or not so much of cooking then uh, I did share my mochi recipe um, generally it's, it's just a simple mochi recipe but because I added matcha powder into it then it becomes your matcha mochi uh, of course then you can choose uh, what you want to put inside your mochi ball mochi bowl is that right you put inside your mochi bowl anyway yeah that could work so please enjoy the rest of the video and watch this matcha mochi making matcha mochi matcha mochi matcha mochi making so just take note that you can replace with any fruits it doesn't have to be grape you can i, I just thought grape is nice because it's like popping bite size you can replace and the best i would say is uh red bean paste uh, so that can go as your uh, snow skin mooncake sort of thing yeah like in a round shape so be creative and uh, let me know if you try out the recipe be creative and do like whatever you want with it but then generally that's how you do it and then at the same time don't also not forgetting you can make a lot of nice uh, dessert drinks from home i also share one a uh, couple of weeks ago but i will link it that's really tasty i love that and yeah so the next time you want to think of like having your caffeine i will consider i would say that you might maybe want to consider changing it you want to consider replacing it with matcha because it's equally a good caffeine replacement at, at the same time you get all your nutritional stuff in there <laughs> so yeah i hope you do enjoy and gain something from this video i'm gonna get back to work and this one big shout out nobu for sending me this mooncake so happy chusok everyone happy mooncake